Good morning. Mm-hmm. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. We're up there. Friday. <laughs> Look who I got with me. <laughs> Dorothy's back with us. Back at it. <laughs> so today it's uh, St. Patrick's Day nutrition-ish. Tips. Tips. <laughs> That's right. We've got all kinds of recipes to share with you. And oh, we're... do we? Well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy does. <laughs> yes, we did actually. Last year, we did in a St. Patrick's Day event, which was awesome. It was so much fun. And we made green pancakes and green protein balls and raw chocolate. Oh, my gosh. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, Dorothy whipped all those up for us. <laughs> and today, we're going to be talking about how to stay on track, I suppose. It's challenging. It seems like there's always something. Mm-hmm. Right? We, we often talk about that. How we think about the big holidays like Christmas and, and, but really every month there is something. You never really get a break from these holidays <laughs> that involve, you know, refined sugar and drinking and <laughs> some of these habits that we don't want in our regular lifestyle, but because of these holidays, they kind of creep in, right? Because... At Christmas, it starts with Christmas and New Year's, and then we think, oh, it's the New Year, I'm going to get back on track. Then it's Valentine's Day, then it's St. Patrick's Day, and then it's Easter. Then we have Mother's Day, then we have Father's Day. You know, it's all, all the time. Then it's Canada Day. Then it's da 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 Anyway, Thanksgiving. <laughs> so it's just constant every every month, and even though we think it might be occasional, it really is not. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the problem is because it's it's never ending. There's always something coming. There's always something next week or next month or there's always a celebration. So if we're always celebrating, <laughs> then it becomes our lifestyle. That's what we do. We don't live a healthy lifestyle. We just live from holiday to holiday. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, there, there's always something because then there's birthdays. It's like, oh, it's it's Drew's birthday. I'll just, I'll just be, you know, I'll just have my... Whatever, be a little bad, <laughs> and then I'll get back on track on Monday. But what we're trying to explain is that it's all the time, right? The the detoxify yourself lifestyle is all the time. <laughs> That's right. So if we don't, we need to take. I suppose we need to take progressive steps in the manner that we want to go. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I feel like sometimes life just like flashes by us, mm-hmm. and we don't have any real like plan. We just kind of go through life without being like. <laughs> This is what we need to do, or these are the things I can do to work closer to the life I want to live. Like the cows. Oh my gosh. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> you said we just kind of like go through go through life, right? One step in front of the other, and we kind of just all follow each other. Well, when we were house-sitting, we recently put up a Farm Life D&D show, Day in the Life of D&D on YouTube. Um, and when we were farm sitting, that's what the cows did, remember? They did what? Well, when they got, they got out of the gate, it was like a big, big thing. So the cows all got out of the gate and Drew had to chase them back in. But it reminds me of that. They just all like, in a straight line, like moving forward. (laughs) One step at a time. Oh, like everyone just like follows each other? Yeah. And and it's usually not in the right direction. (laughs) Most times. When it comes to health, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. That's what I meant by the cows. And you're like, what? You're like, oh, it's just like the cows. No idea what you're talking about. I thought he would have remembered. You said Sadru out there chasing the cows around. I was... You did a very good job. I'm a good farmer. You did a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, we got um, Hilda in here. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. And then Louise is in here. Good morning, Louise. Good morning, guys. Let me pull your comments on here so we can see. They made this new thing in Ecamm. Uh, you can't put the comments to the middle or to the right. What do you mean? They just go where they go? Well, let's see that on the left. I can't bring them to the right. Oh, the right. I see that. We've got a handful of people watching. That's great. Thanks for tuning in this morning. If you're in here and like to say hi, we'd like to know who we're talking to. It's always nice. So feel free to comment a hello, or a, in 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 the comment area, so we know who's watching. You know, it's interesting. I last time, last week, I was like, "Let me know where you're watching from." Yes. And we had people. We had someone from Germany, 
Um, we had Dave was in New Mexico. Oh yeah. Aaron was in Vegas. So let us know, even if you're like, even if you're in Calgary or Sundry, for example, let us know where you are because it's cool to know. You know, even if you're like, oh, I'm only, I'm not anywhere exotic. Yeah. Just let us know where you are in the comments so we know where you guys at because it's kind of cool to to see people from all over the world. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. Okay. So do you I like want, our banner. You like the, do you guys like our banner? I like our banner. Let us know if you like our new banner. I kind of feel like I need to raise the camera up and point it down more. Just, you can leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's fine. You think it's fine? I think it's fine. Okay. I'm drinking my green tea and poo air tea. Funny how I didn't get any. You, <laughs> you have your green smoothie over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just serves himself some tea. <laughs> And this is actually, well, both of these is part of our digestion challenge, and it starts today. So we're super excited. We started a brand new group. Yeah. And then we've been posting in our... Um, in the event page? Thank you. We've been posting in the event page, kind of leading up until today. So today is what we call a soft launch. And that's all we do is open the group up for questions and preparation. And then on Monday, we actually get it rocking. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty excited about that. And part of our challenge is green tea, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Green tea, puer tea, and green, green smoothie. smoothie. That's right. So if you're not in the group yet, you can definitely get in still. There's still tons of time. And I'll drop a link in the comments below so you can click on it. And then you can sign up there if you like. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Yeah. We got um, all kinds of new recipes coming at you, and we'll create a grocery list so that you know what to buy. And yeah, it'll be a fun time. <laughs> Rocking good time. And we'll improve your digestion. I think yeah. that's the main goal. That is the goal. goal. Yeah, and I think sometimes like it's easy to be like, here, do these three things, and you'll improve your digestion. But when you have a supportive group and other people participating, talking, asking questions excuse me, posting pictures, it makes the whole experience much more enjoyable. That is the key. It's the key. It's the essence. <laughs> Don't take my essence. <laughs> okay. Hilda says she's in Sundry. No worries about it. Well, thanks for answering. We didn't, we're not sure where anyone else is, but it's always nice to know where people are. So if, you're, if you didn't catch our question, you're coming in and out, let us know where you are so we know where you're watching from. Okay. So, where would you like to start with healthy recipes? Oh my gosh, there's just so many. <laughs> I think I'd like to talk about, um, oh, we have some more comments here. What do we have here? Oh, I'm a little scared to see what Michelle has to say. <laughs> Michelle says, ooh, that banner looks so nice. <laughs> Bacheloring it for a week and forget forgets his lady's tea. Pull it together, Drew. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. I knew Thanks, I was. I knew I was going to regret pulling your comments. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Louise. Ooh, she says it's sunny Calgary. Nice. I like the banner. Where do you get Pu'er tea? Not sure of the spelling. You were very close with the spelling. There's just an H in it. That's right. P U H E R. -E -R. Very close. Oh, we get silent H's. <laughs> We get it from a, we like the loose tea, and we get it from like an Asian market would be the easiest place, or in, Cal actually Louise, you're in Calgary, but you're in the south. Well, we usually get it at, what's that place in, I always call it Whole Foods. The TNT? No, the, the health food store in downtown Calgary. Oh, that's Sunshine or Sunnyside or, what is that one? Community. Community? Community. I think it's Community. That's the health one foods. downtown. Yeah. Community. So there's a few different places you can find it, Louise. I don't think it's that challenging if you go to like one of those types of places where they would have like a wider selection of health food slash like a specialty tea shop. Is that what you're saying? Or that? Oh, <laughs> he's talking about a different thing. Well, you can go to a specialty tea shop, or you can go to a health food store. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, but we'll answer those questions in the group. I mean, you're welcome to ask those questions, but that's what the group is there for. Like, and I think you're, I just added you last night, Louise, I think. So, um, we'll talk about that and green smoothies and CDP and get everyone rocking here. And soon. just remember not to steep it for too long because it will taste blah. 
<laughs> so green tea only has to be steeped for two minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes. And then you're, so you really, it's very important <laughs> to take it out after the three minutes. Because if not, then it's not going to taste very good. It's bitter. <laughs> Suzanne. Morning, Suzanne. Suzanne says she's in Ontario. Hey, Suzanne. Good morning. And then we have Ben. Morning, guys. Hey, Ben. Watching from, from Didsbury. Didsbury. You guys are great. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much. We'll take compliments anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. Louise? And that's just, oh no. Community health foods. Yes, that's there is right. one by Chino. Yeah. yeah. Just, maybe just call before Louise. Yeah, that's always a good idea. We always recommend that because sometimes you travel to a store and they don't have it, right? Or they don't have it in stock. They're like, it's out of stock or something. So we usually do that if we're going somewhere for something specific. We just call ahead of time make sure they have it in stock. To go out of your way. Right, exactly. Suzanne says, good to see you back, Dorothy. Aw, thanks, Suzanne. <laughs> and then Hilda said, community health is in Chinook as well, Louise. Yes. Yeah, there's one by Chinook. Yeah. Thank you for that. Okay. Thanks for the comments, guys. Keep the comments coming. Keep the hearts. We got two hearts so far. <laughs> <laughs> so our, our heart um, meter is a bit sad. <laughs> Maybe we could bring that up a bit. <laughs> Do you want... I think... That I really like the pancake recipe. You want me to talk about that one? Yeah, I think it's my favorite recipe. Okay. So, Super easy. Yeah. So what we did was we took the original CTP pancake recipe, and we just added some spinach for the color. And that's how we've colored them green is with spinach. Because a lot of times on St. Patrick's Day, we know that everything's green, right? But a lot of times or most times it's green dye. And we don't want to put that green dye into our body because it's a toxic substance for our bodies. Our bodies can't recognize it. So then they... So then our bodies put up a defense against this toxin in our body. So we want to stay away from... The, the, the synthetic green dyes. But spinach is a great way to make things green. So we've just blended up our wet ingredients with spinach in a blender. And that makes the pancakes green. And they're super delicious as well. You're just going to pull it on, aren't you? Yeah, I just pulled the link on here. Well, actually, so this is a different link. We have all these links done separately. But then we also have, we put six of our favorite green recipes together. And we put the, put put them together in a PDF. So we're going to go through some of these recipes with you that you can get individually on the website, trueformlife.com slash recipes, for example. Or you can click on this link right here. I just put it in the comments and you can get all six. Mm -hmm. So it's just, we call it an opt-in page. You just have to enter your email. Most of you we know well <laughs> that are watching and most of you are on our email list. So you're not going to get anything different. It's just an easy way to be able to uh, click and download it yourself. Otherwise, what I used to do when I was starting out <laughs> is individually send emails to every single person, which took forever. So if you want to click on that link, that would be the best way to get your six healthy recipes for Thanksgiving or for St. Saint Saint Patrick's Day. <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. And there's something else I wanted to mention there. Um, I lost it. About the pancakes? No, about the opt-in. Oh, oh, I wanted to mention when I started. So when we used to go to trade shows, oh. we'd go to trade shows and we'd get like 50 or 100 emails from people visiting to the booth. And then we would, I would sit there and we were offering for an email, we, we would offer a free recipe ebook. So I would literally sit there for hours after the hours or the weekend long I'm trade standing show. Standing on our feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I would usually do it that night because I was motivated, inspired. I wanted people to get their pro free product right away. So I would sit there and send out like a hundred emails individually. I didn't know much about business. I didn't know that you could make like this simple link for people to click on and download. Yeah. So. Uh, and a lot of times because it's handwritten, we'd be there. Is that an F or is that a J? Is that we wouldn't even you know we'd have to um, decipher the handwriting and then we would get ones that bounced back to us. Remember, and we'd oh, be like, God. "Oh man, we got it wrong." It wasn't like once in a while; it was like a handful, handful. a good handful. And that's why we're always like when we send out these 
at like our events, we'll send it like, please write neatly. And, and I just think it sounds kind of funny to be like, why would I write neatly? Or why do they have to say that? Because like you can't read it and then they don't, then you're like, oh, I'm going to give you this free prize or free gift. And they don't get it. Because you can't <laughs> read it. Because you can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was, uh, you talked about the pancakes. Yeah, and I think it's a great way to start off your day as well. And it doesn't have to be St. Patrick's Day to have green pancakes. <laughs> you can have them any time of year. The greens offer another nutrition component to the pancakes, right? You get all your phyto nutrients with with your green pancakes like a multivitamin <laughs> and a lot of people do struggle to get the proper amount of greens into their body in a day so if you can add them to your pancakes if you can add them to smoothies things like that it helps boost that nutrient quality yeah and it's fun too it's fun like if you have green pancakes especially like if there's kids around yeah or adults that act like kids hulk Talk pancakes. <laughs> then you can, and then it's like fun. It's different, and you and like like Dorothy said, like even if it's not St. Patrick's Day, you can still have green pancakes. They turn out green, and you get your spinach in there at the same time. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, because it's it's um, quite a lot of spinach, and of course, uh, I think it was three or four cups of spinach in in the recipe. You blend it up in in this in the blender, but so it's. You can pack a lot of nutrients into these, and we've already got the nutrients from Complete Truth Protein in there as well, so you are going to be having so much energy <laughs> after these green pancakes. It's, it's great because a lot of times these type of holidays, like St. Patrick's Day, bring about foods that take our energy away, right? Like alcohol and refined sugar treats and things dyes. like dyes. Like those are all going to deplete our energy levels. But when we look at something like green smoothie, green pancakes, it's gonna make us feel energized for the day. I have a call I have a funny college story, it's the only thing gonna take like three seconds. Okay. But we got this like we thought it would be a good idea to have green beer. Like most college oh, yeah. students would. And they sit there with the dye. They pour, they pour the your beer and then they go... I'm telling the story. Okay. It's my story. Okay. <laughs> I just say I remember that. And I was like, hmm. So we thought we would we would get this, like, they called them pony kegs at the time. I don't know what they call them now. Is it just a small one? Yeah, it was like a quarter size of a keg. And so we're like, oh, well, that's all we need. There's like 10 people coming over. And um, then we got some green dye because it was St. Patrick's Day. So we had this little keg and everyone, we had like a handful of these dyes around the apartment. And then, like, <laughs> there was green dye everywhere. everywhere. It was, like, in the carpet, on shoes, on clothes. It was everywhere. So, um, that's one of my <laughs> one of my little stories for you. That uh, when I think of, like, green dye or green beer on St. Patrick's Day, I always think about that. I think about Ireland because when I lived in France, we on St. Patrick's Day, we took a, a flight over to Ireland. And, um, it was, we were in, uh, Dublin on St. Patty's Day, and it was the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> like, it started, like, they started partying at, like, 7 in the morning, right when you, right when you woke up. And I'm thinking, like, ooh, look at it, a day celebration. <laughs> Right? And, but, oh no, oh no. It was like all day long. Crazy. Well, I would guess in that situation they drink all the time anyways. Maybe. And then there's an extra day to celebrate. <laughs> Quite possible. We just went live on Instagram. I have kind of forgot to put that up there. So, Whoops. Hey, Instagrammers. Hey, guys. If you guys are, sometimes people like to start on Facebook here. And then they go over to Instagram when they leave or something. Um, the thing with Instagram, it's on the phone. We're not able to put up this cool banner. Yeah. And then we're not able to answer, or like, drag questions on the screen. So I like this setup much better. Mm -hmm. Suzanne had a comment here. Let's read what she had to say. Suzanne says, I think that's neat. I think I'm going to make them the next time I have my granddaughters overnight. That's Ooh, awesome idea. It's a great idea. And maybe the cool grandma who yeah, makes... Yeah, green pancakes. Green pancakes. Who doesn't love that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd come over for them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what else can we talk about? Nutrition-wise? 
Yeah, I want, well, then we have the the protein balls. Yes. CTP protein balls. CTP protein balls. They're actually green. That's right. And again, you're using the spinach. So you can pretty much make anything green. Like you could make cookies green even if you wanted to or muffins green just by blending up the spinach in with your wet ingredients. So we take took our original Complete Truth Protein Ball recipe, which is in that link, right, And that Drew sent. And you can literally make anything green. So just by blending up the spinach, just need quite like a few cups of spinach. A couple of little leaves isn't going to turn it bright green. But if you use two, three, even four cups of spinach, it's going to turn it nice and green. But just make sure it blends up nice and well. If you don't have a high-powered blender, just pull those stems off because the stems won't blend up as smoothly. Um, but if you do have a high-powered blender, you can just throw the whole thing in. But you just blend up the spinach with your wet ingredients in the blender, and it turns it like a vibrant green. <laughs> and when remember last year when I was rolling the green protein balls, and I had like green all over my head. Yeah, we have a pretty cool picture on that. Yeah. yeah, so you just... And the protein balls are fantastic because... A lot of times for kids, even their school parties, right? The St. Patrick's Day party. And these would be a great one for a healthy, healthy snack to send with the kids. The kids love them. There is peanut butter in them. And I know it's becoming more and more of a challenge with nuts at school. But I know that some classrooms, it's still okay for peanut butter. Uh, I know one mom that uses uh, sunflower seed butter instead, which works, right? With the protein balls. But the kids really, really like the protein balls. I used to make them all the time for my students. And they're, the reason why I like to make them so much is because they're so easy. You just throw all the ingredients in a bowl and mix it up and then roll them out. And you pop them in the fridge or freezer and they're ready to go. They're actually quite nice, a little bit frozen, hey? When you pull them right out of the freezer? Yeah. I like them a little frozen. <laughs> they're a little but bit different. Crunchy. Yeah, their consistency is a bit different. <laughs> so that might be something that you guys want to think about, storing them in the freezer and then taking them out maybe just a few minutes before you're about to eat them. Yeah, because you don't want it to be like a rock. <laughs> that right. wouldn't be nice on your teeth. Right. But um, but if you store them in the freezer and take them out, wait five minutes, they're, they're nice that way. Suzanne says, I already am the cool grandma. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I bet you are. And then Michelle made a comment here. A little scared, Michelle. <laughs> what do you got going on? I used to go to Irish pub at 10 a.m. on St. Patty's Day Tutu and enjoy the whole day of festivities. <laughs> yes. I think you weren't the only one. No. Not the only one. <laughs> I remember St. Patty's Day Tutu. <laughs> Green Tutu. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how... Like times change. Mm -hmm. I think like a lot of times people are like, you like, oh, I'm old. I don't do that anymore. Like I think that there's a lot of like old people doing the same thing. I choose to think of it as we have evolved. <laughs> yeah. Like I think we evolved in life into like uh, maybe healthier situations or into better butterflies. situations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We were little caterpillars. Oh my gosh. Now we're butterflies. We were caterpillars crawling into a, a bar. <laughs> and now we, now we float past them. Now we're like, oh. <laughs> but it was funny, we were actually talking about that yesterday because one of my, when we're down in LA, I love to have Mexican food once in a while because it's so fantastic. I didn't even really, I, I didn't like Mexican food before I came here because. In Canada, we don't really get the Mexican food. <laughs> we don't get it right. <laughs> Authentic. Authentic. So we went for Mexican food uh, last night, and, oh my gosh, it's so good. But we were talking about that. Hey, remember when we would come and have happy hour? Because like, there's happy hour all over the place. So it would be like $5 margaritas, for example. We're like, hey, remember when... Or $3 oh, beers. Or $3 beer, beer. Remember when we would come and, like, drink a whole bunch and, like, happy hour? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now we're like, we'll have the water, please. <laughs> and we'll share a meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like, your, your whole experience is different. Yeah. Like, I, w I would enjoy it now. Like, I enjoy this now. Than I, than I would like ordering a bunch of beer and yes. hanging out for four hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Michelle says, and not enjoy the next day. Right. That's the worst part, isn't it? The next day. Well, mm-hmm. and we don't think about it at the time. <laughs> and the next day we're like, oh my God. <laughs> what have horrible. I done? <laughs> what have I done to myself? Yes. Yeah, but I think we like we evolve. Like you, I always say, like we go to presentations or and such. I say, fall in love with your health. Mm-hmm. And like once you fall in love with your health, and you realize like what it's like to have fantastic energy and sleep well and eat well, and and how great like a workout feels. Like you fall in love with your health, and you, you think like for us, it's really a no brainer. Like you want to sit there and have um, six beers and four margaritas. <laughs> With your during happy hour because it's cheap and like it's like three dollars for a beer, you're like oh yeah let's have six of them, <laughs> and um, then you don't of course you don't feel great you don't feel great about yourself the rest of your day the rest of that day is ruined and then there's the next day or two <laughs> mm-hmm. where you're struggling with like hangovers and brain fog so yeah I think it's easy an easy choice for us we don't even consider it anymore like it was not even a conversation like do you want to have a drink like yeah. And there's nothing wrong with you do, if you do. We're just expressing our lifestyle. Well, it's just that you, I don't know, you start to associate the, the, the negative feelings that it gives you, right? And you're like, ooh, I don't want to feel like that. <laughs> the Is booze it, blues. Oh, I don't like the booze blues. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm sure it happens to other people too, but... If I have a drink or if I have a couple drinks, the next day I am, like, my emotions are just all over the place. <laughs> blues, blues. <laughs> so, like, I don't want to feel that way because it makes you feel, uh, like, not in control, right? Your emotions are all wacky and it's just, it's not a good sign. <laughs> not a good place to be in. So, that's <laughs> another reason I, I don't enjoy drinking because the next day I'm like, I want to have the booze, blues. <laughs> <gasps> Auntie Jones in here. Good, Good morning. Good morning, Auntie. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're talking about healthy St. Patty's Day or St. Patrick's Day. I heard from someone that's from Ireland that you it's not St. Patty's Day or they don't appreciate that like abbreviation. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I heard that it's St. Patrick's Day. Maybe it was just this individual. I think it has to do with the T's and the D's. Oh. It's not TT if you're abbreviating it. Abbreviating oh, it. It's so. DD. Okay. St. Patty's, not St. Patty's. Okay, so... I think, it, I think that's what... I think, because when we were over there, everyone said St. Patty's Day. Oh, that makes sense, too, because they seem like they shorten everything. <laughs> <laughs> we need uh, some Irish help. Who's Irish? <laughs> Does anyone know? So maybe it wasn't that they didn't like the abbreviation. They didn't like the T's over D's. Yeah. Does anyone know? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. It's D's. St. Paddy's. <laughs> I'm serious! I know. I'm just laughing at you. You're like... D's. D's. <laughs> Look at your neck Saint when you Paddy's. do that. <laughs> That's a little crazy, isn't it? <laughs> why does it do that? Oh my gosh. Why do you do that? <laughs> Okay, what's next on the agenda? What else? Well, we had our green smoothie in there. Right? Oh, green smoothie. That's a good, it's a good time to bring up green smoothie because... So are you ready to switch your green beer to a green smoothie? <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little bit of a challenge for most. So green smoothie is something that we have every morning. That's what I'm drinking now. That's what Dorothy's drinking. Mine's pretty much gone. And... That's something that we're going to be doing in our digestion challenge. So that's coming up. We're actually starting this Friday. So if you're not involved. Today. Yes. Thank this you. This Friday. Yep. It's today. <laughs> okay. That's, I guess I've been saying this Friday for so long. It's uh, it's here. What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you like that, do you? I'm drinking his tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, oh, I was talking about the digestion challenge before you stole my tea. You shouldn't have put it down. <laughs> it can get... So, with the digestion challenge coming up, it's only going to be 10 days, and we're going to give you tips like, like how to make a green smoothie taste amazing and how to put together your poo air and green tea that Dorothy steals all the time. So, it's important to get on the train now because after like five days, if you're like, oh, I wish I tried that, 
and it's gonna you're gonna miss out on five days. Yeah, and you know what? A green smoothie is something that does take time. You're not gonna have your first green smoothie and be like, mm, "That is fantastic." <laughs> <laughs> Most times it doesn't happen that way, but it is one of those one of those things that your taste buds will adjust and change to, and your body will start to enjoy the feelings or the benefits from it, but well, you need to be consistent with it, right? It, like anything, if you have one green smoothie one week and then the next week you're like, oh, I'll try that again, you're, it's not going to be as beneficial as if you commit to having one every every morning. Yeah, and that's why we want to do the 10-day challenge, to be like, and, and again, that's why we talked about falling in love with your health, because once you realize how great your body feels with a green smoothie every morning. And I know like for some people watching, they're like, there's no way I'm going to have a green smoothie for 10 days. Yeah. But all, that's why we put the group together because you're not going to be the only one. But if you try it one time and you're like, that's horrible. And you're in the group and you're having support and other people are like, it's not great, but I'm going to try another one. Then you try another one and it's like day three. And you're like, start to feel better. You're like, oh my gosh, where is this energy coming from? Day four or five is coming. And then we're implementing green teas and CTP, and we're like, and then we're like, oh my gosh, I've never felt this great before, mm -hmm. or it's been ten years. So that's why it's important to be a part of a supportive group and give your taste buds a chance to change and your body a chance to adjust, because there's no way you can't feel great by pr having proper digestion and improving your digestions through some of the tips that we're going to be sharing with you. And you'll learn what you like and how you like to make it. For example, well, just a couple of tips. I like to put a lot more water in mine than, than Drew does. Drew likes his a little bit thicker. I like mine more juicy kind of. <laughs> or he doesn't more like the pulp. the pulp. I don't really enjoy so much. So what I do is I put a, a lot of water in. I'm trying to think, probably about 12 ounces for one. So when I make Drew and I put 24 ounces of water. And then I chop, I take the stems off things. So like your cilantro, like pull the leaves off. Because those Drew will eat my stems. But <laughs> <laughs> They're refreshing. But um, because those stems are hard to blend up in the blender. Uh, in a high-powered blender, it's no no problem, right? Like in a Vitamix or a Blendtec. It would be more pulpy, they, though. They, but it will make it more pulpy. So if you don't like it pulpy, <laughs> <laughs> you can pull those 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 leaves off the stems if, if you want, right? Um, and it seems to blend up a lot smoother with less pulp that way. And a, a pulp's not a problem. It's like a preference. But there's right. a lot of nutrients in the pulp. There is. So that's why I enjoy them. Like, I don't mind crunching my green smoothie a bit. And I don't like crunchies <laughs> in the green smoothie. I like it smooth. <laughs> so I, I, I get it. Because Drew will make them sometimes, right? And I'll get a chunk and it's whoa, like, whoa. I don't like it chunky when I'm drinking something. A little dramatic over there. Whoa. I'll like fulling it. And Drew's like, oh my gosh, Dorothy. It's not that bad. <laughs> but um, there was something else. Oh, I usually save the pulpiness, so <laughs> this is going to sound funny, but if you've poured beer before, you, you this will make a lot of sense, because all the, if you blend your, St. Patrick's Day. if you blend your um, smoothie, all of the pulp is going to separate to the top, so like the head of the beer, right? So when you pour it, you pour it like you would a beer so that the pulp stays at the back of the blender and then you're just getting the juice, right? So think about it as pouring a beer <laughs> and you don't want it in your beer. <laughs> but um, then you can leave the pulp in your, because we have two smoothies a day, so I just leave the pulp in the blender and then when I make a fruit smoothie, the, it gets blended up into the fruit smoothie. Get your greens the in there. The pulpy is in the green smoothie, and then, or in the fruit smoothie, and just blends up. And that's and those are the tips that we want to share with you in the group, and we want to share all these tips with you and more, so you have a better like the green tea, like Dorothy said, like uh, someone like Michelle recently said, I don't love the taste of green tea, and I said, well, you have to make sure you have to t you take the bag out within three minutes, otherwise it's going to be too strong and turn bitter. So these are little tips that we want to share with you as we're 
working throughout the 10 days to not only show you how to make these concoctions, but also how to um, get your body on track and your digestion really flowing as it should be. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, there was something I was going to say, but now I forgot. Oh, about the quality of the green tea as well, because... Like anything, there's a different spectrum, <laughs> different range of different qualities. So if you head to the health food store and get a nice, um, how do you call it? Um, I'm using know, my better, words. Better a better quality, loose leaf green tea. It's going to taste much better than some other ones. <laughs> I don't have a problem mentioning Lipton. Like, I think they know. Like, it's not like they're like, we're the top quality. I just think like Lipton, for example, there's a there's a bunch of them. Lipton's an easy one. It's like a cheap quality tea. You see them at like um, lower quality, like lower quality rest, uh, hotels, mm. and they just have like all kinds of different like oh go and grab as many teas as you want, right? Hot water and a Lipton tea, and then you're like people are like ugh, this isn't coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have like a cheap green tea, it's not going to taste as good as like a loose tea that's actually from a, like a, a manufacturer that specializes in tea. Thank you. Hey. Good yeah. job. You got it. Thanks right. for the hearts, guys. I see them coming in. Keep the hearts coming. We're actually pretty excited to, when we go on our trip to Sri Lanka, we're excited to visit some tea plantations. Some tea plantations. Drew is going to be like a little kid in a candy store. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the monkeys and elephants are more exciting or the tea. I'm kind of actually scared of the monkeys. I heard they're... Because <laughs> I hear they're... Like, I know it would be cool to see the monkeys, but I'm a little bit nervous because I've heard some things that they're kind of aggressive. Mm, <laughs> I had... Well, one of my... Cousins, Hi, little like, monkey! <laughs> <laughs> my cousin was in... Bali? Bali. Bali. And she said, like, a, a monkey was, like... She was, like, fighting over a, her bag or her purse or something with a monkey. He tried to take it. Like one like, of her belongings. I don't know what it was, but I forget. But <laughs> And I'm like, oh. <sighs> Anyway. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, I don't know. I'm not going to let any monkey steal anything from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight I'll be monkey. like, okay, little monkey, have my purse. <laughs> Drew would be like, monkey, get away. <laughs> I'll fight a monkey. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Monkey's not stealing anything from me. <laughs> Michelle says, Drew taught me last week, changed my whole opinion of green tea. And it was a mediocre brand. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, uh, Michelle. Because, you, I mean, you can. Like, let's say, for example, all you have is, like, a Lipton. Or I don't, like, mean to pick on Lipton. It's just an easy one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There's another one, like, I think. Uh, is it Tetley or something? Oh, Tedley's like an iced tea, I think. Oh, that's iced tea. Uh, I don't suppose it matters. Like, our goal here isn't to, like, pick on these bigger companies. And rather, like, we always support smaller local companies. But let's say, for example, it's a mainstream tea that's not the best quality. You can jazz it up a little bit. Like, put a little squeeze of fresh lemon in there. Ooh, that tastes good. And then, <laughs> and then maybe put a little bit of honey in there. Don't get crazy. Put, like, a half a teaspoon of honey in there. Don't get crazy. <laughs> like, Who are you speaking to? <laughs> Sometimes Dorothy gets a little carried away. Like, Ooh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you. We don't have a lot of, like, sweeteners or, like, you know, often we don't have maple syrup or honey very often. So I'm like, woohoo! <laughs> Get real excited honey! there. <laughs> um, yeah, so, like I said, you can, like, jazz up your green tea a little bit. So make sure you take the bag out before it's, um, before it turns bitter, like, within the three minutes. And then you... Uh, put a little bit of, like, a fresh squeeze of lemon in there, as much lemon as you enjoy. It's also alkalizing and help your body digest food. And then you can put in some, little bit of honey. And then you jazz up, like, your green tea that you don't usually enjoy. Then you have a nice little tea that has a bit, it's a little bit sweeter. And then it's a little, got a little bit of zest kick to it. Mm -hmm. I just had this, like, ooh, um, mm -hmm. moment because of the kombucha, right? We're doing kombucha in the digestion challenge. Yeah. Yeah. We like kombucha. Where does that go? I don't know. It was just there. like a little flash that came to me. <laughs> oh, and... <laughs> that was the fourth thing. That, that was, we were because like, last night we were like, what is the fourth thing? There's mm -hmm. four things. And we could only think of three things. <laughs> it was Cambridge. <laughs> Louise says, Lipton green tea is nasty. Mm, it, it really is. It and, is. <laughs> I almost feel like it gives tea a bad name. If it's like, I really like green tea. Like, I like the flavor. I like, it gives me like a little bit of a boost. 
energy boost without like the, like if you get like, if I have a coffee, which I haven't had one in years, maybe if I have a coffee, it gives me like this weird, like jittery feeling, almost like I'm hungover or something. Well, remember that day? It wasn't so long ago. It was a few months ago. I'm like, well, like we don't really drink coffee, but I had some coffee with a friend and I was like, <laughs> for till like noon, like just like. Like jittery and like it's like my head was my brain was bouncing around in my head like Bleh. I'm like oh my gosh oh, and, and this is like Dorothy without caffeine or alcohol because <laughs> you're imagining her like drunk on sugar and caffeine <laughs> bad idea sometimes she's like did you have sugar <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> morning Pablo Pablo jumped in here on Instagram hey Pablo so what was it oh I was gonna say like. I feel like Lip, Lipton, like those type of companies give green tea a bad name because you can, like, I would, I'll go for an herbal tea or I'll skip tea if I, for like at a hotel traveling or something. Yeah. And I, there's like Lipton there. I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> so I feel like that gives the green tea a bad name because people are like, no, I don't want to have that. Well, if you don't know, right, it's not like it says on there, <laughs> right? Not real green tea. <laughs> but, uh. Like, if you don't know and that's your only experience with green tea, then how? Then that's what you would think it would all be like, right? Yeah. So, sure. if that's all you've had, we encourage you to try something a little different. So, we got Sally here. She says, thanks for spreading the healthy lifestyle. Aw. You're, you're welcome, Sally. You're welcome, Sally. So, I just started working with Sally a bit. We're talking about, like, I'm helping her with a social media page. And we just had a session last night. And she's doing amazing. So she's a local artist, and she does all kinds of cool stuff. So you can check out her page. Sally, if you're there with us, put your – so go to your Facebook page, not your personal page. Go to your Facebook page, copy that link, and paste it in the comments so some of our people watching can check out your page. You just got a brand-new business page. She's got a YouTube channel. Ooh. She's on Instagram. Um, Art Gal Sal. That's her handle. Art Gal Sal. Yeah. I like that. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, Sally, put, drop that in the comments so people can follow follow your page. She just got a new page and she's putting up, up all kinds of cool stuff. So, check her out. Okay. How are we doing? We're doing good. We have, we have any comments? I think we should probably, in about 10 minutes, is going to be the hour mark. Oh, wow. Who's yakking away? Who's yakking away? But I, but I just wanted to mention that six recipe PDF again because the recipes that we talked about this morning so far, the pancakes, the protein balls, the green smoothie, it's all in there. And Drew, can you scroll down on that? Because I, oh, it doesn't show us. What else did we have in there? In the recipe? Yeah. Michelle, do you know? <laughs> 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 we had in the salad, we put mm. together a nice green salad in there with, um, I think it had green grapes and cucumbers and arugula. So we have a nice green salad in there, but there's two more. I'm like, what were they? And I think salads, like, salads kind of get a bad rep, I think, because they're like, oh, salads are, they're just like green and they're boring. Boring. Like, who wants to just have, like, green stuff just because of St. Patrick's Day if it's not, like, fun like a pancake? Right. But these salads, these salads that were, like, carefully constructed that Dorothy put together like they are amazing tell them about the salad we had last night oh my gosh I love making salads fancy I don't know why but I like to make them look like a restaurant oh raw chocolate was one yeah sorry I got clover salad is the one that I was that Drew was talking about and it has grapes and cucumbers and it's green and it's yummy and we called it clover salad <laughs> it's not really clovers in it <laughs> But That's it's for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Michelle. Um, and the raw chocolate was in there as well because, you know, chocolate, St. Patrick's Day. Who doesn't want chocolate? I guess. We usually have those chocolates wrapped in like a... The, the foil, the lucky coins. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to know who came up with a leprechaun thing mm. and the rainbow thing. Mm. I used to think I was going like one day... It was like a lifelong dream of mine. Oh, dear. <laughs> one day I'm going to find the pot of gold at the... Rainbow. <laughs> That's pretty cute. <laughs> I was going to do that. That was like, I was like so serious. When I would see a rainbow, I would think like, how can I get to the end of that rainbow so I can get the pot of gold? Oh my gosh, that is funny. <laughs> oh, 
guacamole. Good thing we got Michelle here. Oh, what can we do without you? Okay, well, talk about the salad. Oh, Drew wanted me to talk about the salad we had last night, and I was saying I like to make my salads fancy. <laughs> In fact, I'm as most of you know, I'm writing a recipe book right now, and my salad section is gigantic. And I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, right? Because we get used to side salad, Caesar salad, Greek salad. What? The, which one of the three will I have, right? But there is so much more to salads, right? So anyway, um, last night I, we did a base of the, well, I did the base of the salad. And uh, then that's just where I put the greens and the veggies. So I put spinach, lettuce, and we got fabulous spinach and lettuce from the farmer's market. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yeah, if you don't mind me jumping in here. <clears throat> so the spinach from the farmer's market, is, or sorry, well, the greens in general is so much different. Like the grocery store is the grocery store. Like in many, many places, we don't have the option. So grocery store is kind of what we have to do, especially in the winter time. But we went to the farmer's market and we got this, the, the greens, the lettuce in particular, like I'm not like a big lettuce fan because there's not a ton of nutrients. So I'd rather go with kale or spinach, but we got lettuce, kale and spinach. And this, the, the lettuce in particular was like crispy and it was like they just pulled it off the garden. And it was like so much different. Like the ones from the grocery store was like maybe a bit wilty, like it was okay, but it didn't taste like anything. Right. And the one from the farmer's market was like fresh and crisp and it like tasted like garden or something. Mm -hmm. And this guy that we buy it off, the farmer that we buy it off at the farmer's market is the cutest man ever, <laughs> isn't he? He's awesome. And he cares so much for his veggies. Like it's just amazing. They're so perfectly washed. Like he's at the market washing them you can see and then they're so they're so perfectly washed and then they're so presented so nicely like the spinach is in like in a bouquet with an elastic perfectly around it like it's just so so cool and i think in in a lot of situations that's why we like to support local because usually those local companies that maybe grow themselves or create things themselves they care so much about their product as opposed to getting things from all over the world and just redistributing. And his, he also has berries. So he has his veggies and then he has his berries. And he always is like, have some berries. Like, have a sample of my berries. And uh, his berries make your cheeks, they're so... Oh, they're like candy. They're like candy. And they just make your cheeks like pucker because they're like, ooh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> but back to the salad. Yeah. <laughs> so you do your base with the greens and the veggies. And then I actually toss it up with balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Himalayan salt and pepper and garlic. So you just toss that up. And then I like to make the top fancy. <laughs> so I put some cooked quinoa, about a quarter of a cup of cooked quinoa, on the top, like in a in a spot. And then in another little spot, I put boiled eggs. In another little spot, I put hummus. And then in another little spot, I put guacamole. And in the middle, I put a little scoop of hummus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. I th I think it's like I don't like I'm one of those people that maybe it's a guy thing like I just throw it, throw everything in the salad. It's not fancy. And he, but I mean, <laughs> Dorothy has it like all like beautifully presented before you eat it, which makes it nice for pictures on social media. <laughs> you say boiled eggs? Yeah, I put boiled eggs. Yeah, so yeah, she has like a boiled egg, and then she like slices the boiled egg, and then she like arranges it like in like a little circle, <laughs> like a restaurant. <laughs> she gotta look pretty. But, like, the, that's a salad you can look forward to, and I actually get excited for them. And a lot of the times people, like, aren't really sure how to make a salad or what to put in it, and they don't experience an amazing salad like that. They're just like, oh, like, who wants a wilty salad with too much, like, too much vinegar and, and rancid oil? Or um, <laughs> the bagged stuff. Oh, yeah. The bagged lettuce, like mm -hmm. salad in a bag. Sorry, guys, but it's not real <laughs> salad. <laughs> It's not the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't have the same, um, I don't know what they do to it. Put preservatives on it or something? I'm not sure. I have no idea. But um, it doesn't even taste like veggies, to be honest, right? Yeah. I don't like, they must do something to keep it like, because it's still crispy in the bag. Right. How do you, maybe the seal, airtight seal keeps it like that? I, I would I assume know. that something is put on them, but I don't know. Yeah, so if you so if you're used to air like or sorry bagged lettuce for your salad, try fresh, 
and then making it yourself. It doesn't take that much more effort. Well, you know, what we do is we, when we buy it, we wash it up and then chop it and put it in the, in the bag with the paper towel. Yeah. And then you just grab and go and put it in your salad. Because I know that a lot of times, <laughs> I know because I've done this before, it's like, oh, I don't want to chop the veggies. <laughs> But if you pre-chop them, so when you buy your head of lettuce, you just wash it up and chop it and put it in the bag. Then for your salads that week, you just take it out. Yeah. It's already chopped. Um, Hilda, my mom, says you still can. I'm still looking for that. Pot of gold? Pot of gold. Still chasing rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that you wanted to mention before we wrap things up? just to say too about staying active because uh, like on St. Patty's Day um, a lot of times when these holidays roll around we don't get our workout in or we are sitting inside or you know doing our festivities or celebrations but I think it's important that it doesn't matter if it's a holiday or what we're doing it's still important to get our exercise in yeah and like we said earlier, like when we kind of opened up the show, we talked about there's always something like Thanksgiving. And isn't Easter coming up next? After St. Patty's Day, yes. Patrick's April's Day, Easter. April. And then isn't there, was there Valentine's Day or something? Back February? Past, yeah. Goodness. Okay. It, anyways, like there's always something. So if you're like, oh, I'll work out after St. Patrick's Day or after Easter or I'll skip the dessert on the next holiday, like. It's, it's never going to end. So if you're not active, if you're not getting your workouts in, if you don't stick to those regular routines, then it's going to be so challenging for you to stay healthy, stay active in regular life. Yeah, and it's like we talked about too in the beginning. It's not just the one day. Like St. Patrick's Day is March 17th, yes. But then it's on a Sunday. So there's going to be things going on on Saturday. There's going to be things going on Friday. And then into Monday, you're still carrying on with what had happened on the weekend. Right. Well, the, I think the worst part of it is like you get those candles, like Halloween. Yeah. Like every holiday's Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, you get the gold coins. Um, Easter, you get the chocolate. The, the Easter eggs. chocolates. Like um, Valentine's Day, you get the heart chocolate. It's like it, all, it's all the same nonsense. <laughs> they just change the holiday. It's like the, the same companies are creating the same products. They just change the shape of them. Yeah. And we're like, ooh. You know, like heart-shaped chocolates or, ooh, egg chocolates. Like, it's the same thing. <laughs> Tastes the same. It has the same horrible ingredients in it. It's just changed its shape. So I think we, if we're aware of that and, and know what's going on, then, like I said, I was talking about Halloween. It's not, we're going to be having those candies and those treats at, like, a week after Sunday. Yeah. Right? So the kids are going to... Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, say the kids are going to bring home... Probably treats from school, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. and then they're going to have it for the next week. So it's not um, St. Patrick's Day isn't over, and it's the same thing with those. Like when you go into a bank or you go into a grocery store, they have the candies or chocolates on the counter. And that, like those are going to hang around; they're always there. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking, like from my experience at uh, teaching, right? You go into the staff room and everyone brings their junk that they don't want at their house because they don't want to eat it. And then it's in the staff room. It's like, well, what do I want to eat? <laughs> right? Oh, I'll just bring that to work and other people will eat it so I don't have to eat it at home. But then, so it got, you know, to a point where I would not really go, right, at those times because I'm like, ah, I don't want to see the junk. You know, I think the heart, one of the biggest challenges for, for parents. Like, yes. Like in schools and such or around like other kids and like other families. Because like everyone celebrates a bit differently. So the biggest challenge, like maybe for you, those of you watching, maybe you're watching a replay or here with your, you're here live. Like we have a community that we're growing of people that are health conscious and health minded. And then if you want to do one thing with your health in your lives. And then like we're so influenced, like. At the schools, we were sitting in, I was kind of sitting in a group full of ladies, moms with kids, and I was just listening to the conversation, and like, um, I just didn't realize the challenges that they deal with. Like, it's, there's always something, like, there's always a temptation, there's always a reason for, like, parents to have to be, like, strong in their mindset, and their, in their lifestyle, because there's always, like, things coming up, like, you know, you're dressing up for this, or you're baking for this, or you have candies for this. Yeah. It's endless. It's endless. 
Ja. ja. <sighs> Sound like you're going to say I was going to say something, but then I forgot again. So I'm like, oh, what was that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to wrap things up then. Okay. Good. If I can't think of it. Yeah. While you're wrapping it up, I might think of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Then I'm interrupting. <laughs> Uh, we do have a brand new Day in the Life show coming up on YouTube. So our YouTube channel is youtube.com slash trueformlife. <laughs> now we're going to make healthy mini eggs. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to share this with you. I was wrapping but, things up. I know, up. but now that the mini egg comment came out, <laughs> I have to say this. But you know the cream filled eggs? Um, at, you know, Cadbury has those cream filled yeah. eggs. I'm working on a, it was actually Vanda, one of our monthly members, who sent this recipe to me, and it was like a healthier version of it, and it's made with cashews and raw chocolate. <laughs> anyway, I'm working on that. Can't wait to share it. <laughs> but a healthier version of the, it wasn't the mini eggs, but it was one of those cream eggs. So your dream may come true, Sheila. <laughs> it is possible. Anything Bro. is possible. <laughs> Raw chocolate is one of the other ones that we talked about. Like that's in that that PDF that um, link that we've been sharing. Mm -hmm. So if you um, get that PDF, you download that PDF, you'll find out or have a really cool recipe um, for raw chocolate. And raw chocolate is super easy to make. I think we have this idea in our head that making chocolate is like this big extravagant, you know, event. But raw chocolate is super simple to make, quick, easy. You only need a few ingredients. And you're, you know what, you're, this happened to me personally, so I know <laughs> that it happens that our taste buds change. I used to always be a milk chocolate fan. And then we started getting away from these refined sugars and in, in these, you know, packaged treats. And the more that we got away from them, and we do have dark chocolate every once in a while, but the more we got away from the milk chocolate, now it's like I don't even, like, the milk chocolate isn't, doesn't do it for me. It's too sweet and too rich. Is rich the right word? Yeah. But then, but then we will have a little square of dark chocolate now and again, right? That's enjoyable. And that's more enjoyable than the milk chocolate for me. And I remember when Dorothy was like, I don't like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. I want milk chocolate. But milk chocolate usually has milk in there, like, <laughs> like dairy products, sugar, and then whatever else they put in there. Milk or like dark chocolate is a better quality source of a health, uh, like a healthy treat. Yeah. Okay. Shall we wrap things up? Yeah. Well, you know what, too, is like with the milk chocolate, I'd want to eat the whole chocolate bar. <laughs> the whole thing! I'd be like, ooh, nom, 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 nom. But with, in the mini eggs, too, right? Like, because I mean mini eggs. Like, I used to love mini eggs. And you just sit there and you eat, like, an enormous amount. But with the dark chocolate, you just need, like, a little square and then you're good. To, like, you're like, ooh, that's good. Anyway, that's another point about the dark chocolate. <laughs> Mama said, great show. Love you guys. Have a fantastic day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Love you, too. Have a great day. Louise, I missed this. Sorry. Um, I think we were talking about what else was in our... I've stayed in hotels where they've supplied Mighty Leaf Organic Tea. So tasty. Yeah, we've stayed in some that have the... I, I think Mighty Leaf, but what's that N one? It's like N-U-M-I or something. It's a, oh, yeah. It's, we've stayed in hotels that have had that one, too. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. It's a better, better one. So maybe they're kitchen on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just going to mention that we have the our brand new day in the life. So if you're not aware, that's our uh, day in the life. We just throughout the week we carry the video camera around. It's like a vloggers, I suppose thing. We carry the video. Camera. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> and then we have so that's coming out. We we publish those every Saturday morning. So we got a brand new coming out. You have to go to YouTube to check those out. We always appreciate comments and thumbs up on those videos. Yeah. We do share snippets. So you'll see snippets like one to two minutes on uh, Facebook here. Um, but to go watch the whole show, usually about eight minutes maybe, to watch the whole show and you can hang out with us and laugh with us, check those out. We're actually going to jump over to the digestive digestion 10-day challenge. 10-day challenge. And we're going to do a live video to kick that off. So if you're not involved and you want to get involved in that, um, you can 
I put the link in the comments. I'll put it here again. So if you want to join us, and I'm telling you, this is our first one. We're super excited. The first digestion challenge. And we can't be, couldn't be more excited. The thing is that people kept asking us, like, well, we had two things. We had two comments come in. Like, one was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe how much my digestion has improved. So gas, bloating, indigestion, constipation, diarrhea, diarrhea. all those symptoms, I would say, they were causing issues. So then when we, they were, started working with us, uh, taking some of our tips and ideas, their digestion changed drastically. So we, and then, so we had people saying that, and then we had the people saying, can you help me with digestion? Yes. And we're like, yes, yes, I think we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> so we're going to do that in a 10 day group and show you how great that is going to be. Yeah. And I think another reason why it hits home for us so much is because I, like, I had terrible digestion and suffered, you know, like from some of these symptoms like diarrhea and, and constipation and things. And it took us, like, like we were, like, trying to figure out what the heck is going on here and trying to figure out, make me healthier or make it, make me heal or help me heal. And this is, like, so now that I don't have those symptoms anymore, we're like, woo! Like, nobody else has to deal with this either! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And there's so, there's so much, like, in that supportive group, there's so much, like, I've interviewed experts from, from around the world a half a dozen times. So I have all these different shows that I want to share with you guys and all this information to be like, this expert sh says this about your digestive health. Mm. This expert says this. So there's all kinds of resources that we can offer. And within these 10 days, I think we can, well, I know we can change so many labs mm -hmm. by showing you what it's like to not have digestion issues, which will give you energy and make you feel better. And you know, the thing for me was that I became so accustomed to these these symptoms like the gas, the bloating, the cramps and other things that I just thought that was my reality or that was my normal. But then when we started to look at things and, and things started to improve for me, it was like, oh my gosh, I don't have to live like this. It does like it can be better, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's not, like when I was in it, I didn't make that connection like I just thought well this is the way my body is <laughs> but right. it doesn't have to be the, the, the you have the power to change it that's right and I think it becomes our like it becomes our normal like oh yeah. I just have not very good digestion or a lot of people don't know they don't have good digestion like every time they eat I have acid reflux that's just the way life is mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be like that mm -hmm. so we can help you with that for sure yeah um, Louise, I'm not sure what that means. Louise says UNF. Is that a typo or abbreviation for something? Hope so. <laughs> Hi, Joanna. Joanna's over here on Instagram. Hey, Joanna. I was wondering if you're going to join us this morning. Mm -hmm. Joanna's going to, I'm going to interview Joanna here Ooh, soon for Exploring Mind and Body. Nice. She's going to talk about the benefits of booty yoga. Ooh. Recently certified. Nice. So congrats. Congrats. I'm excited for that interview. Looking forward to more details. Yeah, because that's one of the happening things right now. Seems to be. The bouté. <laughs> <laughs> um, was that it? I think so. Okay. I think we talked about everything. I think we're good. Um, yeah, just check out our uh, recipe PDF, the St. Patrick's Day. You get six recipes all together in one. And that's nice because then you don't have to go search for each individual recipe. Yeah. We have CTP over there over Dorothy's right shoulder. And it looked like your left. Uh, if you want, <laughs> we can definitely set you up with CTP. CTP is our product we design ourselves. It's made with quinoa, hemp seeds. You can bake with it, throw it in smoothies. It gives you a natural boost of energy. And it also helps with digestion. Mm -hmm. So we have all kinds of different places where you can get that. So we ship, uh, we deliver locally, we ship, we have distributors. Um, so, yeah, we can definitely help you out if you want some complete truth protein, especially for some of your recipes this weekend. Mm -hmm. Louise says, oops, we'll pull one more comment on, and then we're out of here. Louise says, oops, I, I diagnose celiac disease causes horrible digestion issues. Other was it typo. <laughs> Got it. So she just said celiac causes horrible digestive mm -hmm. issues yeah so she knows what no, we're talking about i know what we're saying 
You bagging? You, you bagging what we're mowing? <laughs> you picking up what we're putting down? <laughs> oh my gosh. Joanna says thank you. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. All right, guys, we're out of here. Thank yes. you so much for joining us this morning. Um, have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for your support on social media. Your likes and your shares, your comments, they mean so much on our pages, on our um, products, on our links. It all, all really helps us and we couldn't be, feel more supported. So thank you guys. Yes, thank you. Have a great weekend and we will catch you later. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you guys. And Brian.